Hey guys, so Betray You is back. I do hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not I would ever use flaxseed gel to retwist my locks and if flaxseed gel can lead to build up in your dreadlocks. Let's get to it. So Betray You is here. Welcome to my channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm going to be completely honest, when I first saw, I think it was Lot Crush, her video where she used this very gooey, <laughs> viscid substance and she was retwisting her locks. What I later found out was FSG, flaxseed gel. I was like, oh my god, I would never put that in my locks because it's, it's I mean, oh my, it's just, it's so thick, right? <laughs> and you guys know I'm all about doing whatever I can to prevent buildup. So it's like, yeah, I would never retwist with such a viscous substance. Um, but... I decided to do more research on it since I got a question from Mass Triple Seven Naturals recently asking me my thoughts on flaxseed gel for retwist. And so today I'm going to be reading to you a few things, alright? So via the livestrong.com site, it says flaxseed oil derived from the seeds of the flax plant is rich in essential fatty acids which can be beneficial to your health in a number of ways. In addition to helping with skin disease, cholesterol, and digestive problems, flaxseed oil may also assist with hair growth and the replenishment of brittle hair or dry scalp. While evidence supports the use of flaxseed oil to promote healthy hair, there is no solid proof of its effectiveness. And then they have another section titled, Why Flaxseed Oil Helps Hair. One of the reasons flaxseed oil can promote hair health is because it is rich in omega-3 essential fatty acids. Omega-3 essential fatty acids are known to support scalp health, while a deficiency can result in dry scalp and dull hair, says Jim White, R.D., a spokesperson for the American Dietetic Association, according to Men's Health. Flax seeds also contain lignans, disease-fighting compounds that may help fight hair loss. But because lignans are found in the shell, whole seeds are a better source than oil. So I've been on to flax seeds for countless years now, and I actually only have the whole kind, right? Um, so that was kind of the impression. I'm like, okay, as with most things, they use the word promote as to be sure not to give a guarantee that it's going to do this or going to do that, right? Um, but there are some reasons to think that it might do what they say. In this case, it might help with hair loss and uh, it might help the overall health of your hair and scalp. So then I start to think about, okay, is it water-based? <laughs> is it soluble or insoluble? And I looked into soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber is the fiber that actually dissolves in water and so they say that one of the things that happens when fiber is soluble and you put it in water is that it will become this sort of viscid, viscous, gel, gooey substance. So I was like, okay, so that probably means that the gel, the flaxseed gel that I've seen countless people making on YouTube is probably water soluble and safe to put on your locks, to retwist with. And so then I started to look up reviews I, you know, tried to scour the internet to see if I could find anyone who complained of buildup in their locks as a result of using flaxseed gel, and it was to no avail. I could not find anyone that would, you know, corroborate that occurrence. And so that led me to believe that, okay, flaxseed gel, you know, it has all of these benefits or potential benefits, and it doesn't leave buildup. So, yeah, it's probably a safe bet for people to use to retwist their dreadlocks. My thing is, while it may not leave buildup in your locks, and it definitely has the potential 
to help the overall health of your hair. I still would not use it on my locks just because I retouched with water and it really doesn't get simpler than that. I don't have to worry about boiling on the stove and collecting it and squeezing it, you know, squeezing the seeds to get the gel out of it and all that. And then it's just messy, right? So for me personally, I probably would not retwist my locks with the gel unless I was experiencing severe hair loss and I thought maybe, you know, retwisting with it could combat that. But there are other things. So yeah, I would just, I'm just, I just plan on sticking <laughs> with my water to do my retwist. For those of you who want to use it, it looks like it's a pre pretty good product <laughs> to use and it looks like you probably won't have to worry about buildup. But of course, you know, anything done in excess is bad, so be careful how much you use. All right, that is it for this video. Hopefully it was informative. As always, please drop down below and give your comments. And with that being said, please learn to love unconditionally because loving with conditions, conditions the heart to not really love at all. Sabatria is out.